Hey guys, what's up? It's Jeff here, and right now I'm gonna have a little bit of SOCOM 2. And oh, that's not what I wanted. I guess I waited too long. Um, some SOCOM 2 gameplay, and I'm also gonna be talking about your about uh, a little bit of PC and versus console kind of thing. Not because everybody seems like I'm not trying to start a war here, but everybody seems to think that on PC you have less lag. But, even though that may be true, um, the only real reason is because PC gamers have a lobby system in every game. Meanwhile, on the consoles, uh, now in this day and age of 2012, or 2011, I should say, sorry. In this day and age, we don't have lobby systems in video games anymore. We actually happen to have quick match systems which don't exactly allow you to choose what kind of ping you get it's just like oh hey this room has you room, this uh, lobby has room for you this one has room for you here you go welcome uh, don't care if you like it or not just shut up and play kind of thing you know what I mean but can like I'm just gonna show you this because I can I mean this is SOCOM 2 online right You'd think that for a game from 01, it wouldn't have like three quarters of the features that PC games do today. I mean, it's got lobbies already, and you can choose your, your ping. I mean, oops, there we go. We'll just go into the options. You can choose your ping or um, for quick match system. You can choose what kind of, there we go. You could choose your, your connection speed or around what it'll be like respond. Like you could choose 300 milliseconds, 600, 1200 or 65,000 which up to 65,000 which is just ridiculous I like to keep it on fast be on 300 around roughly 300 because it's nice it works uh, no I don't want to save my changes because I didn't change anything I kept it the same but considering this game from 02 I mean it it basically started paving the path for the future I mean quick match system right here you could choose your own as you can see, you can choose your map, your how many players, and your connection speed. So around roughly around what ping you'd get to the host. And then on top of that, you had your briefing rooms, which obviously they're kind of they're not many people want briefing rooms now because well they're all little twelve year old kids jacked up on fucking Red Bulls and shit going oh my god I want to get into a game quickly and yeah anyways but. If you look, this is basically what a, what kind of, what a PC lobby would look like. I mean, you've got your players, you got your, well, I don't know if spectator, there's many spectators, but, um, you have, you can choose your own freaking name for the game. You can, you, like, the pings are all right there. The little green dots are all your pings, so, I mean, it goes from green, which is like 300, to yellow, and red and no ping for whatever for no one being in the room kind of thing you know what I mean so I think we're going to jump into pistols only Ah, oh, that's actually a good one I like pistols only all oh, these two are past um, M14 on crossroads and ah, we'll go M14 on crossroads um, but this game led the way for the future of console gaming in the sense that you had briefing rooms so you can choose the ping and everything but why did they ever stopped why they ever got rid of um, of lobbies in video games like I remember back on the PlayStation 2 like SOCOM the SOCOM games <coughs> excuse me all of the SOCOM games had a quick match and a lobby system which allowed you to basically choose your own ping for the most part. What I don't get is that... Um, what I don't understand is that people seem to... forget that we basically tell what... we basically decide for... Um, we basically make the decision for the game developers like, if there's a big enough demand, they will listen to us and do what we want, kind of thing, right? For the most part, at least. So, if we demand a lobby system, to and 
then you can choose your own kind of ping. Like, the SOCOM 2 one was a fairly... Like, this guy's lagging a little bit, but I don't know if that's... That's probably his connection or the server. Because, like, if you know... I, I know 300 ping isn't the greatest. But, this is where it get This is... Like, where what I'm... This is kind of the beginning. I mean, this game was out in 02, right? So, you can't really expect a game from then to have... Um, to have any lower than 300 because back then they had, you know, dial-up and um, high-speed internet or broadband wasn't really the greatest. You didn't have, like, 20 megabyte per second packages. You had more of, uh, or 20 megabyte packages. You had, like, maybe f one megabyte pa packages. You, you didn't have that ma that much. I mean, it's all been changing in the past couple of years. But anyways, uh, so th basically this game, like I'm trying to say, this game basically started the whole lobby. Like, if you notice, I'm not let These guys, most of them aren't lagging that much. And it could just be have been spectator mode that was causing the lag. I mean, because everyone knows spectator mode's kind of kind of bad for lag. Oh, get down. No, that's not what I want. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, ah, shit. Oh, what? Okay, that was lag and a half. That was probably on his part, I don't know, but... Like, I'm not trying to defend SOCOM 2 here and say that it's not laggy, but... Um, so, excuse me, right now we're going to jump into some... Because there's two games on the PlayStation 3 that actually have a lobby system. That I know of, at least. There's Duke Nukem Forever... And SOCOM Confrontation. Those are the only two that I real that I know of right at this very second off the top of my head that have a lobby system. But I don't think I don't think confrontation has a ping as a <coughs> excuse me, has a ping meter. But uh so anyways, we're gonna go on to some Duke Nukem and uh keep in mind Duke Nukem's like a month old, right? So um we're going to jump in on there and uh, we'll take a look at that. And I'll show you guys some stuff that might be interesting to you. Alright, so like I was saying, um, this is Duke Nukem. Like, <clears throat> Sorry, I'm already starting off bad. But um, it's Duke Nukem. The game's only been out since, what, June 10th? Or from where? Like somewhere around there. And I mean, look at this. We got... Um, we got a lobby system, and it's also got a ping, uh, a ping meter. So, I don't get, like, people keep complaining about, um, about consoles and how, oh, it's so slow, but most of the people who do are pretty much the same ones who, uh, from my experience, or me, from the people that I've spoken to, they're mo they're pretty much the ones that, don't like having and um, who don't want a lobby system in a game like a console game I don't get it man I I just don't get people they bitch and they bitch and they bitch and then they turn around and they're like oh well can PC is better because you can choose your you you have a a ping bar and as you just saw the game that I'm going into has I have a 75 ping to the host which is pretty good but this like uh, con blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I know that people don't have the greatest internet connections out there, but if developers would just like, I'm not a computer programmer in any stretch of the imagination, but for the most part, like they, this is easy stuff to fix. Whee! There we go. Am I red? Oh hi. Oh shit. Anyways, but. This, like, I'm no computer programmer in any stretch of the imagination, but it shouldn't take too, too much to actually, to implement a, uh, to implement lobby, a lobby system. Like, if they did it back in 02, or the first SOCOM game, which was 01, I think, or two, 2000 or 2001, I think they can do it now, but... Obviously, that's just me. I would much... Oh, cool, infinite ammo. But I would... 
I would love to have uh, a lobby system again just because it would save so much trouble of playing like Call of Duty where in Call of Duty right you have to uh, there we go you have to um, oh cool you can just keep firing but you have in Call of Duty you have to you have the lobby system right and the lobby and not the lobby system you have the quick match system and quick match is kind of like you don't choose your ping it's just like oh by the way here you go take this room it's got room for you this room's got room for you it's it's only where you have room but with a lobby system if they were to implement them again lobby systems would eliminate some pro some hassles on the um on the console and probably people wouldn't be moving over to pc gaming because they would they would be enjoying their their console playing experience more because you know less lag obviously hint 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 but hopefully hopefully developers get off their ass and implement little like it's just little things like a lobby system and it shows you a ping to it like socom 2's wasn't the greatest because it was just a color code like it was like green yellow or red kind of thing but duke nukem's you have the number so you you have a ping like how many millisecond ping kind of thing ping kind of thing huh whatever uh, but it shows you it's a it shows you your ping in a number so you know which room has better connections compared to oh this one's green I'm gonna jump in there or this one's red or yellow I'm not gonna go in there kind of thing but I don't know I guess with through all this rambling I'm just trying to say they got to get off their lazy ass and friggin implement the lobby system like if if uh, Zipper did it back in 01, 02, or 2000 to the last SOCOM, the last SOCOM on PS2, I honestly think they can do it on the PlayStation 3, which is an advanced, air quotes, console. The only difference between them is PS3 has Blu-ray and HD capability, like 720 to 1080 or whatever. But, anyways, gotta stop rambling. I'm actually going to talk about the gameplay for the, well, when it loads, for the next however long. Probably go to, like, well, this Duke Nukem gameplay is about 5 minutes, so I'll go to about another 10. So the video, the total length about 18 minutes. If I could jump into the lobby system. Or not jump, jump into the game, sorry. Come on. Come on, just start the fucking game. Something I wish Duke Nukem did have was like a percentage of how much it's been, how much it loaded, or something. Some way of knowing how long, how much longer you have to wait, because this is just ridiculous. You just see the Duke Nukem, the nuke symbol in the background spinning, and that's it. Trap enemies in the dishwasher. Eh, that looked funny. When a red barrel catches fire, it's about to blow. Well, no shit. It's red. It's explosive. Um, come on, just let me jump in the game. Ah, oh, god damn it. There we go. Uh, hopefully, well, if this game ever gets going, I'm gonna have some. Uh, come on. Right after this, if this game ever loads, I'm going to go play some Call of the Dead because it's fun. And this is just ridiculous. So I'm going to call it... Oh, never mind. You were disconnected from the host. Oh, host lagged out. I hope they... Well, if they were... I hope they implement... I don't know if they do... If they have a... Uh, what's it called? A um, host migration in this game, but that's something else. Games need host migration, not ones that freeze the game for like 30 seconds or to a minute or whatever. Ones that are like, um, once again, I'm going, but I know I'm, I'm probably going to get flamed for this, but the old SOCOM games, the host, when the host would leave, it'd be seamless. It would be like, oh, here's a new host. And then like it would, it would instant, it would find the best host kind of thing. So you'd always have a good connection and you wouldn't have to stop for like, Tenor for like 10 seconds to fucking two minutes 
to wait for a new host. It would be seamless. Like you might, like there was a couple times where you'd get a little hiccup, but it, for the most part, it was seamless. You wouldn't have to wait for like ten seconds or whatever, or ten seconds plus. But anyways, uh, I'm done rambling because this is. I'm sure I'm gonna start losing subscribers for this. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. But this is what, like I said, this is what. Um, developers have to do they got to put a lobby system that shows the ping because that's the only real way to stop people from bitching because then it's their own connection like people who complain usually are the ones that like i don't know how to say it but anyways uh i'm out of here later everybody peace